What's up everybody? I am out here today on a youth turkey hunt with my best friend's little brother, Nick. Say hi, Nick. Hi. And this was totally unexpected. And I'm adding it into this video because it is one of the neatest finds that I have ever found. And I believe I have video of this thing when it was alive. And I looked for its sheds and I never found it. Look at this thing. This buck is massive. Just look at this thing. It's a non-typical 12. Typical what would have been an 8 if you wouldn't have busted off that time. I guess you could still kind of count it because it's long enough. But I mean, just look at this deer. And I can barely wrap my hands around its bases. I mean, just my hands are just barely touching when they do that. I mean, this thing, I mean, hold it up, Nick. This deer is just massive. He'd been missing for two years and never really put a nickname on him. I thought I killed the biggest buck on this property up until the second to last day of season. And I believe I saw this guy in my front yard crossing the road and i said holy crap i don't know if he's bigger than the buck that i got but he is dang freaking close and i don't know i have to score him and all that right now since he's a deadhead i could actually get a good score off of him and we'll see what he scores and all that i might add it in this video i might not no guarantees but i figured it's not a shed but, I mean, it's a, it's a bad thing to find, but then also a good thing, you know. At least it's not going to waste. Squirrels kind of really got at it. I don't know if there's the squirrels or what, but his tines are actually completely, like, sheared off straight right here. I don't know if it's from uh, the squirrels or not, but, uh, either that or that's just how his antlers were or what. But, uh, yeah, Booney Crockett Deadhead. I'd say if I had to guess, he's around 150 somewhere, but, well, I'll be hitting, sitting on my wall. Till next time, guys.